Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new Let's Play in Hearts of Iron 4. Today, we're going to jump back into the Millennium Dawn mod. We're going to be playing as the good old US of A. And what's our plan for this campaign? The answer is, I don't really have one. Um, the only thing we know for sure is that I kind of want to do the opposite. Not necessarily the opposite of what happened historically. But we're going to, in the 2000 election later this year, we're going to be electing Al Gore. Uh, and then and we'll kind of see where it goes from there. I'm assuming, you know, major world events uh, that may or may not happen in New York City will probably still be happening. And then we're going to be the most militaristic Al Gore you've ever seen in your god dang life. So, to start off with here, we do have 224 factories. Um, decent, uh, decent stability, decent war support. We are, of course, I, th I think we're the richest. We're, we're definitely going to be like the richest country. Which is definitely not... How I am kind of used to playing Millennium Dawn. We've done, you know, Nigeria. We did a little bit of Indonesia. We've done a lot of countries that, for lack of a better word, aren't incredibly wealthy. What, what's the uh, shortcut here? Let's draw a fallback line here. Let's draw a fallback line in California. And it still says we have some divisions. We have some in Korea, some in Germany. I think everyone... That's not assigned. We'll just throw you into a uh, brown army here. Get you assigned underneath a field marshal. Who do we got? We got Mark Milley and Tommy R. Franks. So you know what, Tommy? Congratulations. We will throw you in here. And what do we want for a national focus? I have looked at a national focus tree before. It is absolutely massive. And there's so many things that are actually open right away. That I don't know really where to even start. I, I'm going to probably start here because this leads over to the uh, 2000 election. So we're going to get the ending siege of uh, Clintonomics. So right now, of course, uh, President Clinton in charge. And one thing I do want to say uh, prior to really getting into this campaign here is that YouTube membership, um, which you can get for as little as a dollar. I don't know if this is a new feature or not, but apparently I'm able to actually schedule videos for members prior before they actually go public. So if you want to become a member... For as little as a dollar, you can actually watch the next five episodes of the uh, Kaiserreich series. And the next handful of videos. I don't have any recording in this session. Next handful of Millennium Dawn videos right now. If you became a member. Just saying. If it's something that you want to do, I don't want to pressure you. Oh my, holy shit, we have so many research slots. I am, again, I am not used to, how much money do we have? Do we have all of them unlocked? No, but, you know, we, we can definitely get there soon. I am not used to having this much stuff. Okay. How much political power do we get? We get 10.92 per day. Right now, we do a stagnant economy, medium corruption, Wall Street's are interest, military, industrial complex, and the CIA. We are currently a Christian nation. What do we want to research? Because I'm assuming it's the United States, we probably have a lot of stuff already, uh... Better Sam's? I mean, that doesn't sound, like, super great. But again, like, almost everything's already researched for us. I guess we'll go Excavation 1, Excavation 2, and then we'll go for high speed rails. Just get all of this stuff. Every everything here sounds great. Population goes up. More population goes up. Actually, we'll go with you first, then. And we'll go for... I was going to say fuel gain per oil, but I don't think it's actually necessary as uh, as the Americans. Because like, we have, like, Texas and a lot of other places that got, like, a lot of oil. We don't actually need it. You're five years ahead of time. Like, we already have a bunch of 2005 tech unlocked in the year 2000. I guess we'll go with the auxiliary electric engine. Maybe that will be cool. Um, Anti-air cavalry, air cavalry, armor. Let's go for an armor manufacturer. I think seems okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. And a lot of these things will research pretty, uh, I was going to say quickly. It's just that we're really researching a lot of things at once. What do we actually want here? Decentralized. Probably, let, let's go for network-centric warfare, I think could be interesting. And for our many, 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 well, how many military factories do we have? 80? Like, we actually, we have, like, so much stuff. You know what? Build me some office sectors. Let's... Boost them in New York. Is 45% the best we actually have? Build them in uh, Texas. Build them in California. Build them in Washington. Build them in Minnesota. Fantastic. These The, the four, by four I mean five main industrial centers in the United States. 
Good old Minnesota. So what do we actually need to... Actually, we actually still have more. I thought that would have been enough. Uh, congratulations, Kentucky. We're going to make sure your economy is absolutely goddamn booming. Okay, decision available. Anti-cartel propaganda. You're not sure why not. We'll do that. Fuck the cartels. Um, so what do we actually need to build? Battle tanks. Actually, let's just wait like one in-game day. Because this might uh, reset. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Okay, so we need main battle tanks. Which I believe is you. Uh, let's go with Textron, sure. APCs. Now again, is that in here or is that in here? That's an ATGM. It's not an APC. Your utility vehicle, which I'm assuming we need anyways. You know what? Why don't I just like put one of everything? Because, I mean, as the United States, we can just afford it. To just build everything at the exact same time. Build some of you. Build some artillery pieces. Get some trains in here. Build some recon tanks. Build some of you guys. Build some of you. And again, the only thing we don't need is the main battle tank, which we've already started up. And then some aircraft. Uh, light. We're only in like 1995 jets, huh? Let's go with a light jet here. Or light jets. I don't even know what the difference between any of you guys actually are. We don't want the carrier ones because you know I don't think carriers are really that good. Let's build some predator drones. Hell yeah. Get some of you bad boys. What else do we need? Transfer. Okay, so we need utility vehicles, which apparently I did not actually put in here. And they do want some transport helicopters. So you know what? Sure. Sounds great to me. Close air support. Let's build some uh, Hawkeyes. Sounds great. Whatever the fuck that thing is. Absolutely. And, you know, build a light jet as well. Fantastic. And then for our dockyards, of course, we want some convoys. I want some 1965. Oh, that seems. Why are why is our navy so shit? Build some 1980s submarines. Build some 1980s frigates. Build some. I guess 19. Is that, is that really the best we have? 1990 destroyers. So these are attack helicopter carriers. Give me one of these bad boys. Give me... No, so all the good stuff's down here. Just give me a nondescript battleship, sure. I'm sure battleships are really, really important for 21st century military operations. And we'll build one of you as well. And now we've got to, like, it's got to still assign everything. Convoys have five, submarines have four, four, three... Five. If I just actually max all of you out. There we go. Fantastic. And then for tanks, let's go four, three. I actually built two of these by accident. Not, I didn't want that. Go five, three, five, two, 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 five, five, three, five, <laughs> five, four. And they go five, 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 and we have one more. So I guess we'll throw that into utility vehicles. Seems okay. So there's gonna be a lot of setup here. I understand that. I think we've done like, I mean, it, it, we've come about halfway through the video. We haven't actually finished anything yet, but that's okay. For our rubber, we'll get that from the Indonesians. Thank you very much for our technology media or technology metals. Let's get that from the Australians, please. Fantastic. And now we have like 14 different events. Southern Illinois incident. In the early mornings of January 5th, 2000, which is not, it's not the 5th, several individuals across the town of Highland, Dupa, Lebanon, Shiloh, Summerfield, Milstadt, and O'Fallon, all in Illinois, reported the sightings of an unidentified flying object of triangular shape and dark color, calling it the St. Clair Triangle. 
These reports have also confirmed by uh, five on-duty police officers across the region. The aircraft, which made no sound, was probably massive in size, operated at treetop level attitude, and was spotted several uh, times between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the incident has once more uh, fun conspiracy theories about secret U.S. Air Force projects, or depending on the conspiracy theorist, an alien invasion or alien control of several world leaders, including U.S. President Bill Clinton. Spooky, very good for the Hall uh, Holloway uh, spirit. And the USS Cole bombing. The guided missile destroyer, uh, the USS Cole, was attacked by two Al Qaeda terrorists on uh, the first at 1 a.m. on the 2nd of January 2000. The coal at port in Yemen was hit by an explosive in the left flank, killing 17 sailors and injuring 39. Over the later years, the United States judges found Islamic elements inside the government of Sudan at least, invo at least involved in the attack. Demand Sudan to pay the charges. Fantastic. In the alien gondolas affair. Today, the Attorney General of the United States, Janet Reno, has come to the decision to, in regards to young uh, Cuban boy, Elian Gonzalez. Gonzalez is currently residing in Florida with relatives after he survived a dangerous escape from Cuba to the United States. An escape uh, during which his mother tragically died. However, the mother tried not only to flee from communism, but also from her husband, Gonzalez's father, who is still back in Cuba, and now demands to have the boy come back to him. There can be no doubt from both the American and the Cuban standpoint that it would follow the law to send the young boy back to his father, but there's more of uh, moral and political implications here. Should we doom a young boy back to communist suppression, or should we jeopardize the accusing support of the Democratic Party in a vital key state of Florida? It all comes down to Reno's verdict now. So I'm 99% sure that really in real life they sent him back. A small chance that it's all, uh, so he may f fail. Let us better dead than red. He stays. Okay. Bill Clinton's taking a stand here. We have so many aircraft. Okay, cool. We'll worry about that a little bit afterwards. We might also need to invade Sudan. I'm not, I'm not too sure yet. Saudi Arabia wants another aggression pack. Sure, Saudi Arabia. Why not? So let's deploy all of our planes. The many, many, many... Do we even have enough manpower to station all these aircraft? We're increasing the military by like 150. Oh my god, I don't know if we will. Okay, let's get you guys down here. Okay, I think we will, but it's going to be very, very close. We are deploying like 6,000, almost 7,000 aircraft. I do like how these don't actually split up in a, in a way that makes sense. That that's That's fine. We'll get that going. Missing production equipment in a bunch of different aircraft. Look, we'll worry about that at another time, okay? We'll worry we'll worry about that at some point in the future. I thought we built at least one of everything, but I guess not. And for the planes, which are now stationed everywhere across the United States, uh, we want to do close air support, interception. But close air support is a higher priority. Logistical strikes where you can, and anybody who does air reconnaissance, who's made air reconnaissance. So you, our streak bombers, will throw you uh, here in Ohio. And then you... What kind of planes are you? Are you the helicopters? No, you're carrier planes. Okay. We'll just, we'll just throw you into West Virginia for now then as well. And then I think you are the transport planes. Who I don't know really what to do with. So we're just going to station you here. Hey, Sudan, thank you for the 25 uh, or $250 million. I do greatly appreciate it. How is our income, by the way? We're currently losing $42.9 uh, billion. Which is quite a pretty penny, for sure. What are we actually spending it on? Defense? Welfare? Uh, just a generic additional expenses. Oh, uh, anti-cartel propaganda. Apparently, it's costing us almost as much money as the military is. That's a very expensive propaganda campaign. Target money laundering operations. Let's go money laundering here. Investigate shell companies. Most likely, we're going to fail. And how actually, how's, the, how's our uh, support here? 25% uh, more representatives, 5 more senators. We don't have a majority in either the House or the Senate. 
What about some lobbying efforts? How much does that cost us? Because usually these are based on percentage of GDP. Fifty billion dollars. That that's a lot of money to bribe a couple of politicians with. Political pandering. I mean, they're all very, very, very expensive, huh? What if you actually try to... How much does this cost? 350 and it costs us a trillion dollars to upgrade. However... I mean, I, I still think it's worthwhile. And actually, if we can save up to 1260 it only costs you $1 trillion to press any of these buttons. So if you go straight from stagnation to economic boom, it also only costs us $1 trillion. Uh, new agencies funding in exchange for more favorable news. Absolutely. Let's get some corruption here. And for our national focus, what are you? Foreign policy? You know what? Give me some foreign policy here. And Alaska Airlines Flight 261. On January 31st, 2000, Alaska Airlines Flight 261 and McDonnell Douglas MD 83 en route from Puerto Rico, uh, wait, from Puerto Vitre, Mexico to Seattle, Washington, in the, in the United States, crashed into the sea about three miles north of Akana Island, off the coast of California. The cat, uh, catastrophe caused by improper and sloppy maintenance killed all 30, uh, 83 passengers and five crew members. A tragedy. And apparently, people don't like the Democratic Party because a plane crashed. How is that my fault? Doesn't doesn't even make any goddamn sense. And get some tax breaks. You know what? Let's extend tax breaks a little bit. I don't need any money. I don't need that garbage. Stability, war support. And of course, we'll be going for the, uh... The interventionalist, a, uh, of course. So you know what, actually, let's get US plan on foreign policy. Now that the Soviet Union has completely collapsed, why would I not take my rightful place as the sole and most powerful nation on the goddamn face of the earth. Of course we will. Every country that you see right now actually belongs to me. They, the rest of these people, they don't deserve it. I'm getting too much political power. It scares me a little bit. Like 10.4 is so much. What else can we do here? Global, so we cannot do neo imperialism, unfortunately. As nice as that would be, four percent war support stability goes down a little bit. They visit to UK. Okay, and what about you? Support the nationalist or support the democratic movement? This is in Sierra Leone. Um, probably Sierra Leone makes the most sense. I, I mean, you know, let's support the nationalists in Sierra Leone. I don't think the war's actually broken out there quite yet. Uh, oh no, it has. Well, who actually supports me right now? 28 versus zero. You know what? Never mind. We're going to back Sierra Leone. Of course we will. They already like me. Why would I change that? Okay, missing rifles and ammunition. Spread too thin. Curtail on base activities. 25% chance. And then you are. We just. Things go worse for us. Command. I literally. Why would I care about command power? Really is not a big deal to me whatsoever. 94 days. Actually, what I want to see if we can do. Is it seems like silver. Planes? Actually, no, I guess it goes from 95 to 2015. Did they not invent any planes for 20 years? What the hell? We actually already have 2015 aircraft. What? What was America cooking in the year 2000? Holy shit. 2005. You know what 3G networks? Welcome, welcome. Do you actually work? Okay, it looks like the international market isn't actually implemented in the game quite yet. They know that there is a different way to buy equipment. Train the uh, cartels currently is at 10. I mean, here's the thing. Do we care about how much money we're spending? I don't think we do. 
Gets more police infrastructure here as well. Strength of Wall Street's at 28. Strength regulations at 35. What do, we, what do we actually want here? Wall Street regulations. We can deregulate them. Wall Street already loves me. The CSA, the CIA is not a big fan. It only costs twenty seven hundred dollars to replace you, which honestly, or twenty seven hundred points, which actually is not that bad considering the fact that we are very, very rich. Basically, because we get, we generate basically eleven points, you can essentially on any of these numbers just knock off the last zero to get the equivalent of what it would normally be if we made a normal amount of political power. So like these would essentially be twenty seven or two hundred seventy, which is which is pretty fucking cheap. Like, this is basically 35. This is basically 126. If you base it off normal, uh, Hoi 4. Which is very, very, very doable. Let's just put it that way. Assumption economy, volunteer service, mandatory service. Probably is not going to be great. We do pay a big penalty because... What about actually decentralized? Construction speed minus... Yeah, I always think getting extensive centralized bureaucratic state is always good. Decentralized administration sucks. Give me more political power. Now 12.34? Hell fucking yes. Sounds great. But now that we've kind of set up what America is going to be moving into the future, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end off this episode. Remember, if you want to become a member and watch the next episode right now, you should go do that. Uh, but thanks for watching. Have a great day and goodbye.